Um, so I'm excited to give a little update um, to you, which is that since 2020, usage of the USA Learns website has tripled. We went from having about a million learners per year to last year we had 3 million learners come to our site to study for free online. And those numbers really blow me away. I mean, that's a lot of people. And I had to think to myself, why are so many people coming to the site and why that big increase? And I think that um, one reason is that there is a really big need for free and user-friendly online instruction that was developed specifically for adult learners. Um, there's also a need for um, online English as a second language courses and US citizenship and immigrant integration and job skills instruction. And it just happens to be that that's what USA Learns offers in our various courses. Um, also, I think USA Learns is very popular because, for other reasons, such as it works well on various devices. And that's largely because of a, a wonderful grant we got from Dollar General Literacy Foundation a few years ago, and we were able to basically rebuild the whole site so that now all of the activities work on phones and tablets and computers. It's also really flexible. Um, uh, an insider little piece of info is that the grand majority of our learners are studying independently. They don't have a teacher. And FYI, everybody who does not have a teacher wants a teacher. So it's used by those independent learners really across the nation and around the world. And it's also a very popular resource in adult um, education programs. Um, and teachers are always so creative in all the various ways that they come up with using USA Learns to supplement the amazing work that they are doing. Um, USA Learns also has tons and tons of multimedia. Thank you, that's the correct slide here, you're done. We have tons of multimedia, um, I mean, literally thousands of videos and audio files, um, images, interactive activities. So tons of multimedia, which keeps it interesting and fun and engaging. And we also have um, learners for both, uh, we have tools for both learners and teachers. And that's something that a lot of times people don't realize is that there's a learner site and there's also a teacher site. Okay, we can go to the next slide now. Thank you so much. So um, I was asked to recommend a resource for you. And I, of course, I always recommend USA Learns courses in general, but today I would specifically um, like to invite you to use our updated USA Learns citizenship course. And this one, um, we were very excited. Uh, a couple years ago, we received a grant from USCIS. It was an innovation grant, and that was right up our alley because we love to do innovative things. And um, so let me just tell you a little bit about why that course I think is so wonderful. So um, as a learner, um, I could go onto this site and um, prepare for all aspects of my naturalization interview. I can learn all that difficult vocabulary and all those tricky concepts related to the N-400 application for naturalization. I can learn everything I need to know to answer the, you know, the 100 questions, the civics questions. I can also um, improve my English speaking, reading and writing and including the tricky small talk um, language. And thanks to that recent grant, we were able to add some very cool new things. Um, just a little tiny sampling and a few bullet items here. You know, we um, we now cover how to create an email account, or yeah, how to create an email account because you need one in order to uh, create your USCIS account, which is what you need in order to complete your N-400 application for naturalization online. And when we originally built the courts, uh, learners were you know applying via paper, and so it was great to have the opportunity to make these really important and timely updates. Um, we also added some fabulous digital literacy skills. Um, you know, we have um, lots of multimedia uh, or animated videos that we created along with various interactive lessons. And we cover topics such as um, how to safely use public Wi-Fi, how to evaluate online information, how to navigate various websites such as the DMV, DMV website, which honestly is, is tricky for anybody, how to navigate the USCIS website, and lots of other really great um, digital literacy skills. And we also added some new um, activities that we call in your community. And with those, we basically encourage applicants to go out into their local community and engage in some way. Um, for example, we might have an assignment where we say, go, go, go to your, into your community and find your local USCIS office and map out how do you get to that office from your home. And then we have them come back to our site 
and report on that doing a speaking activity. So it's also a speaking practice. Um, the other little piece of the puzzle I would like to share with you is the teacher side of USA Learns, which enables um, teachers to very easily in about one minute go in and you can create your own free USA Learns courses based on our content. And once you have your course, you easily invite your learners to, uh, to join your USA Learns course and then you can track their progress, such as time spent, scores, numbers of attempts and those kind of things. And the final little piece I'll share with you is we've updated our scope and sequence document. So we have lots of great tips to help make it easy for teachers to implement our courses. And how could you do this? Well, you would go, learners would go to usalearns.org. You'll see the URL down there in the left corner. And teachers go to usalearns.org slash teacher.